So as we kind of touched on in the previous video, this broad concepts of this load management. So we're looking at acute, which is a week, chronic, which is accumulation of four weeks, and we're looking at where the stress has been placed and how much has been placed on the athletes, and ensuring that this jump and these dips are not too great and their differences from week to week, to ensure we're trying to minimize that risk of injury. Now, how we actually change these weekly loading, because sometimes the stress can rise up quite high. There's got to be scenarios when we're trying to be like adaptable and trying to predict what's going on. There's going to be times we're going to have to try and be reactive, and how we do this on the spot, it's going to have this coach's eye kind of realm to it as well. So we use kind of an example where we look like plyometrics. So plyometrics can be a decent stress on tissues, decent stress on the system. Now, an easy kind of principle we can utilize is swapping out this actual demanding plyometric and switching that with the gauge room. So when we look at the concept of these two, in terms of like we're not doing a complete 180 and pulling something completely out, we're making a switch and we're moving to something that will still have a, a stress on the system to a degree that's maybe a little bit less than what this plyometric might be, but at the same time we're hitting an adaptation of like a skill, coordination, rhythm or something else where we're getting and achieving something rather than just taking a step back and getting no benefit, just so that we rest at the same time we can kind of manipulate our programs from week to week and ensure the entire system of this athlete is continuing to go up and up and up and continue to make progress.